Hello and welcome to today's video where we will be looking at recognizing Taylor series. So the problem is the following. If x cubed minus x plus 1 is equal to the following polynomial, determine the coefficients of the polynomial on the right. Now if you look at this, one natural immediate approach is to think the following. Well, I can expand the right-hand side, and I'll get a cubic equation in the variable x. I can collect the coefficients. The coefficients will be in terms of the variables a0, a1, a2, and a3. And if I compare coefficients, like the cubic term, the quadratic term, the linear term, and the constant term of each of these two sides, then I'll get a system of equations in four variables and four unknowns. The four variables being the coefficients a0, a1, a2, a3. Those being the variables. And the equations coming from equating the coefficients. Okay. Well, one of the things to notice is this is a polynomial that is expressed in terms of powers of 2. And so you can actually think about this from the point of view of Taylor series. And that'll give you a way to approach this problem that's much quicker. And the key thing to notice is that when you have polynomials written like this, where you have a shift of some sort on the GRE subject test, that usually indicates that some Taylor series type pro uh, problem is here in disguise. Okay, so if you take a look at this polynomial here, let's call it f of x, and then the polynomial on the right, let's call that p of x, then observe that the higher derivatives of f, the fourth derivative, fifth derivative, etc., are zero because f is a cubic polynomial. Right? So that means, in fact, if you look at the Taylor series expansion of f of x centered at x equals 2, any term beyond the any um, coefficient beyond the degree 4 coefficient is going to be 0 because the derivative, the fourth derivative of the function, fifth derivative, etc., they're all 0. So in fact, this expression p of x is the Taylor series expansion of f of x centered at x equals 2. Okay, so in order to compute the coefficients of the right-hand side, we can just we can recognize that these are the Taylor series coefficients centered at x equals 2. And we have formulas for those things. So here we've computed f of x and its derivatives. Right? And if you want to know these coefficients, then you'll have to evaluate f of 2, f prime of 2 over 1 factorial, f prime of double prime of 2 over 2 factorial and f double prime, the triple prime of 2 over 3 factorial. Right? And computing those values, you'll get 7, 11, 6, and 1. Great. So there you have it. Recognizing a Taylor series question on the GRE by noticing a polynomial written not in terms of the given variable, like the variable x, but in terms of a shift of that variable. Now, one thing I want to mention as well is be careful on the GRE subject test. This actually came from a practice test, and one of the answers had f of 2, f prime of 2, f double prime of 2, and f triple prime of 2 as a possible selection. So remember to divide by the corresponding factorials. That's a way to um, get caught up on the test. Great, so I hope that helps give you an approach to a problem and a hint as to when a problem is really a Taylor series problem in disguise. If you like this video, please click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel.